Have you ever played Ark and thought, what if I could own my own Trilobite, or my own Shilokan, or my own Sabertooth Salmon, or my own water pit full of evil flesh-eating piranhas? Well, soon you can jump into your own pond and hurt yourself and swim <laughs> between your own fishies. Yes, yes, soon we are able to tame them all. How awesome is that? That is really cool. So these fishies and trilobites you see here, they are forest themed. It is just an example of how a homemade pond could be. But in the future we will be able to tame them, but we have to wait till aberration comes out. And when aberration comes out, then we are able to tame all the small fish and the trilobites. And I can't wait to do that because that is just so cool to, to have your own pond with, with all the fish that you like. But yeah, you can also have a water pit full of evil piranhas and uh, then just have fun with it, uh, dump people in it or whatever, or use it in a PvP arena like I had. Uh, mine were uh, spawned in and they were still wild. But yeah, of course you can put them on aggressive and uh, then you can unclaim them and then they will also eat you. <laughs> but Frasonas, how are we able to tame those? Do we need to knock them out and feed them? Or do we need to passive tame them? So hand feed them? Well... No is the answer on both of them, because we're gonna get fish baskets. And they showed us that on TwitchCon, on uh, the streams, or at least one of the streams, uh, Jet was explaining how it works and that kind of things. And I was planning to do that also in the Aberration News video, but I totally forgot about it, so uh, we're gonna check it out now. So here we see Jet walking through the water, and in the water are piranhas and saber-toothed salmon and uh, silocans and that kind of things. So here you can see him placing the basket, he gets attacked, so he will do his uh, command thingies. And uh, what happens is that uh, once you have it placed, uh, the fish that is the closest, once you have it placed, it will start catching it automatically, but you can also do it by hand. And how that works is, uh, when you're close to it, uh, there you can see it, it says uh, trap the aberrant piranha. So when you're close to it and uh, fish will get close, then you can trap it. Unless they <laughs> they break it down as it happens here. So he is going to try it again. And uh, this time it, it seems that I thought uh, it got destroyed. But uh, let's check what it says. Here it says trap aberrant piranha. And that is what Jet does. Check it out. It says filled fish basket. So now he has a fish in his basket. That is awesome. And after you caught the fish you have 5 minutes uh, to release it. And otherwise it will spoil. So it has a timer. And uh, yeah for unofficial and account things uh, you can change the timers. So you have 5 minutes and uh, then you go to the water. And you have to be in the water. And there it is. There is your very own tamed piranha. How cool is that? And you can also trade it. You can see Jet with a wingsuit on. Uh, he throws it down. Someone else picks it up. And uh, then messes it up. And uh, <laughs> she will die. Um, so does it mean that you can also trade it to other players. That are not in your tribe? I think so. Because normally when you drop something down. And someone else picks it up from another tribe. Then it is there. So I think that is the case also with fish. And be sure to be in the water and not a land as what this person does. <laughs> well, I think I just killed it. Yeah, you totally uh, killed it. So uh, when you're on land and you release the basket, well, the basket is gone and the fish is also gone. So then you have to try it out again. <laughs> and of course you have to watch out because uh, they kill themselves. Oh my god. Why, 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 why the big one? <laughs> oh, that is just so lame and stupid. Well. Uh, they are so stupid, the fish are so stupid, they beach themselves and uh, yeah, that is really bad. So if you make a pawn, make sure to uh, close it off with higher latches and, and not have it uh, open and natural like this. Because they beach themselves and they kill themselves. Have you ever wondered what is the biggest and what is the smallest uh, fish of their kind? Well, go check it out. Here you can see the uh, silocant and this one is uh, 2.5. And that one is 0 0.3. I needed to spawn in, uh, what was it, about 2000 silocans in order to get one of those. So uh, I guess they are pretty rare. And the Sabertooth Salmon, 2.5 is also the biggest. And <laughs> it is uh, coming in the screen now. But uh, here you can see it with the smallest one. The smallest Sabertooth Salmon is 0 0.5. And uh, for the piranha, it is 1.1 the biggest and 0.8 is the smallest. 
So, uh, yeah, that is not a big of a difference. It would be nice to have a monstrosity of a big uh, 2.5 uh, piranha, but <laughs> it is not possible. So what I would do if I want to tame those and I want to tame the biggest ones, well, of course, you need to uh, find one, be lucky to find one. And if you found one, I uh, should place uh, fence foundations, close it all off, uh, kill the other fish and place my basket and then uh, yeah, catch the, the big one because, oh my God, it is so awesome to have, uh, have them as large as possible. At least uh, I think that is awesome. And the, the, and the saber dudes. Yes, yes, yes. They look nice when they are big. And when they are small, they are cute. But <laughs> And uh, yeah, like I said, keep in mind that uh, they beach themselves. They kill themselves. And um, they are not really smart. And as you can see here, it happened a couple of times in the meantime. And uh, there is not much uh, fish left here. So a lot of died and a lot of killed themselves. And oh, as you can see here, uh, here is also one uh, that has been beached. And yeah, that is just so sad. But it is so awesome that once aberration hits that we can uh, tame the fish and that we can tame the trilobites. And who knows, maybe later we can even tame the dragonflies or the uh, the ants. That that will be so cool to, to have all those little critters uh, that we can tame. And I'm curious, are you going to tame a fish when aberration comes out or not? And if so, what kind of fish? Or is it a trilobite that you're gonna tame? And also for the future, uh, maybe it is possible to tame all the other creatures as well. What kind of creature would you like to tame that is now not tameable? Leave that in the comment below. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Leave any thoughts about this video or whatever in the comment below. And as always, if you haven't already and want to see more of me in the future, then smash that subscribe button like a maniac. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.